Welcome back to another vlog review. So, Jackass presents Bad Grandpa. For all of you who haven't shut off the video yet, I actually have surprising news. I thought it was pretty damn funny. And here's why. If you liked the vulgarity of Borat, the charm of Little Miss Sunshine, and the classic comedic stylings of the Jackass crew, then you will like this movie. After the recent death of his wife, Irving Zisman, as played by John Knoxville, is more than ready to jump back into the single life free of responsibilities. That is, until his daughter is sent to jail and he is forced to look after his estranged grandson, Billy, as played by Jackson Nicole. But, being the careless, unfit, dirty old man that he is, Irving has made arrangements for Billy to stay with his deadbeat dad. The only catch is that Irving has to drive the boy there himself. Now the pair have to embark on a cross-country car ride together and perhaps pull some real-life pranks on a few unsuspecting people along the way. So, like all Jackass films, you do need a strong constitution to sit through a few scenes or be quick to cover your eyes. But this is probably the mildest of the Jackass creations. It's not completely clear whether the film was thought up as its own story or a parody of the road-tripping, family-bonding genre as a whole, but it succeeds in either case. There is something sincere and refreshing about the movie that's been absent from some other comedies that have been released this year. It's after the midway point that the film seems to pick up. The first half of the movie indulges in the self-contained ambush sketches, either revolving around the exploits of the grandfather or the kid, but it's when the two start to do their shenanigans together that the film becomes something a little bit more. Despite its rude, crude attitude, Bad Grandpa does develop an endearing story, involving horrible, horrible people. I would recommend it for a younger crowd that can enjoy a little bit of randomness in their humor, as well as some genuinely heartfelt scenes. And it probably helps if you're a Johnny Knoxville fan. That's it for me for now. Until next time, I'm Darren with Move to Blender. See